Hello again everyone, this is Carson back again. I'm back again with an opinion-based video. It's been a long time since I've done an opinion-based video, but I thought I'd get my voice out there on this topic because this is a very big topic that's been trending over the past few months, and I thought, you know what, I think it's time I break my silence and talk about it. Um, so this is concerning a YouTube gamer named Etika, or Desmond Amofa is what he was called, at, what he was called for in the news called as excuse me so i'm gonna link a couple links down below um on a, on a few videos and the news article that will show you the uh information regarding desmond amofa aka uh etica now just if you don't want to see the articles or the videos or whatever i'm gonna just explain what happened uh with etica for those who don't know for those who have not been keeping up with him or maybe have just heard of him up until now uh, until his passing, which was his suicide. He is a YouTube gamer personality. He, uh, did a lot of reaction videos. He did a lot of, like, uh, Smash, he did, like, some Smash videos and stuff like that. I knew him back in, uh, well, I didn't personally know him, but I, I watched him back in, uh, 2015 and back during Smash 4's, uh, DLC speculation era, and, um, it was, it was a big ride. I, watching him react to those videos, but um, then I just started falling out from him because uh, just because of a few reasons, I just his content just started to not appeal to me anymore. But the main reason, and I, I'm not saying this to be funny, I'm not saying this to be narcissistic, I'm not saying this to be um, I'm not saying this to be uh, rude, narcissistic, or anything like that. But I feel like um, I feel like there were underlying problems. Like, which I bet there has been. Um, I feel like there were underlying problems before Etika took his own life. Uh, especially, I think, even before he uh, made the YouTube videos. I, I don't know him that much because I, I had, like, a gap of time between 2015 and the Smash Ultimate speculation era of him reacting to those videos. And I I knew part of him was kind of crazy. Um, I am not... No offense. Um, I'm just going to say that I, I something just stood out to me like he like every time he reacted to a new smash he reacted to a new smash fighter being in smash for 3ds and wii u or ultimate he would just go ballistic and just jump around be crazy and i think in the smash ultimate uh everyone is here trailer there was one time where he karate chopped a bookshelf full of nintendo switch joy cons and I'm just like, I, and I'm not saying this to be rude at all. I'm, I, like I said, uh, I didn't say this yet, but I feel so bad for the man and his family. But I have, I have to say this. Um, um, it, why was he so over dramatic and crazy? I, I understand people react differently to certain things, and that's that's okay. But something about his reaction videos, just he how do I describe it? He was like very over dramatic, like just very over dramatic. Like he, to the point where he had to karate chop a bookshelf that made me kind of, uh, mm, I'm not so sure if this, I don't, I hope there's nothing like, I'm like, dude, chill out. So, um, and like I said, I'm, I have nothing against Attica at all. Um, I, I mean, I know he's a funny guy. Um, uh, Although he didn't really stood out, he didn't, he never stood out to me like between, uh, 2015 and 27, no, 2018, he, he, he did that fake switch hoax and I was like, N no, j just no. But that aside, I'm not saying those things to taint his career, but, um, I feel like there were signs of him, um, being mentally ill long before he was, um, long before he, uh, took his own life. Now I've interacted with mentally ill people. I was at a charter school, um, and it it was pretty bad. Uh, mainly the girls were very narcissistic too. Now I know Etika is a kind soul. He he's very nice, even though he's kind of funny at times. Um, but I will say that once the mental illness like started becoming public domain uh when he started going into mental hospitals going in and out of mental hospitals i knew it wasn't gonna last um because i know there's like 
I wouldn't say a stigma, but a trend with mentally ill people. I, I was hoping he would be okay, but... But then, once I saw that he took his own life, I was like, yep, I knew it. Uh, I, I was, I'm not saying that to be rude, but I just, I knew something like that would happen. Because mentally ill people, they, and I'm not saying this to be rude at all. Like I said, I, I'm sorry I have to reiterate that all the time, but YouTube nowadays, they get offended by everything. But I'm being very open and clear with you guys. I have nothing against mentally ill people. I have nothing against, um... I have nothing against Etika or his fans, but I'm just like, why was he in and out of the hospital all the time? Because he should have, in my opinion, he should have stayed longer. I don't know if he got on good behavior, if he was in there for a limited time, but I feel like he should have been in there longer because he, he, he need, he was obviously crying for help. Now, when, now I don't have, I guess I don't have mental illness. I don't really, I don't really say much because I, uh, it's not really anyone's business, but, um, it's very, um, it's, it's, it's a very difficult topic to talk about, and, um, I will say that, you know, I, I'm just gonna be open and honest, me being a person with autism, and, um, I was also diagnosed with ADD, and I think maybe even ADHD, it, it could be a chemical imbalance, I'm not entirely sure, but, I will link the uh, story down below, but I want to say, um, you know, rest in peace, Etika. Um, I just want to say rest in peace. Joy-Con boys for life. Um, this was, I know this was very hard for his family, friends, especially all his fans too. Um, I know this was very hard for them. So, and I wasn't a fan of Etika, but I was, I was concerned for him. But even though I knew that his death, was gonna happen because it was just a thing that just happened with mentally ill people. I've heard of mentally ill people killing their families and then killing themselves. You know, I've, I've heard of something like that. Now I know some of the stuff I'm talking about is a little graphic, but I need people to be more, I need people to be more aware of mental, we need people to be more mentally, no, more aware of mental illness and really realize that we need to be careful what we do because we could be this this could end up into this could spiral out into something ugly like what just happened with Etika jumping off the Manhattan Bridge and um basically dying in in that in the in those waters so um it's very difficult to talk about but I am gonna break my silence because I know not not many I don't think anybody ever told me about this but I did Just talk about it on Instagram and uh Twitter and um I I was more fluent on that but I don't know if I would be as much more fluent on YouTube because I'm standing over here right in front of a camera but um this is going to be a two-part video I should have stated that at the beginning but this is a two-part video this is covering the incident itself and I will cover what happened on YouTube later um yeah I'll be covering what happened on like on the web on youtube later um so that's pretty much all i have to say regarding the incident of what happened to etika and with that being said um i hope you guys have a good time a good day be sure to like subscribe comment and joy con boys for life take care bye